chanting down with Britain, a mob of angry, stone-throwing Iranian students stormed and ransacked the British embassy in Tehran. The students pulled down the British flag and waved a picture of the Queen, protesting new sanctions against Iran and demanding the British ambassador be sent home immediately. The United Kingdom takes this irresponsible action extremely seriously. The Iranian parliament voted Sunday to expel the British ambassador and downgrade relations with the UK. Iran's foreign ministry later expressed regret for the protest and said it will take action through legal channels against those involved. Analysts see the incident as part of a regional power play ahead of the U.S. withdrawal from Iraq at the end of the year. Iran is waiting very patiently to fill that power vacuum, and that's eliciting a number of reactions around the region, all by those players who are very concerned about a more influential Iran in the region. And that's exactly why we're seeing signs of a covert war intensifying in the lead-up to this withdrawal. The protest coincides with growing concerns over Iran's nuclear ambitions. The Western sanctions were imposed after a U.N. nuclear watchdog report published new evidence Iran is trying to develop a nuclear weapon, a charge Tehran vehemently denies. The U.K. condemned the attack and urged Iran to honor its international duty to protect diplomatic staff. It is advising British nationals in Iran to stay indoors and keep a low profile in what it calls a fluid situation. Ralitza Vasilova, CNN, Atlanta.